we know that this is big. We know that Joe Biden um, has kind of, you know, come into office like a lamb, as they say, and 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 coming out with some pretty massive uh, policy proposals, like a lion, to use the the springtime analogy. But he's got massive public support, especially for a Democratic president, and especially at such difficult times. It's kind of now or never. And, okay, we we hear that, you know, there there may be some centrist Democrats that may push back on certain things. Let's not forget, some of this is supposed to be paid for higher taxes on those making over 200,000 if you're an individual, 400,000 as a family. I'm told, Tina, that many of the people that make that kind of money live in blue states. You wonder, is there Democratic support for that, especially if we don't get a rollback of the the cap on the deduction for state and local tax, which was also kind of a a punch in the gut to many people in those blue states? Well, Americans are never supportive of tax increases, right? We we want, you know, Europeans public services uh, on other people. Tax increases on other people are fine. Tax increases on ourselves are never fine, right? And that's where the definition matters here a lot. What I mean to say about public support is more about um, for his presidency and in the wake of the big fiscal stimulus package. Um, the number that he's looking, the numbers in his approval ratings that he's got right now are are pretty impressive at a, at a time when there's really no such thing as political honeymoon. So what I mean to say is he has a window to do something big, um, to push forward on his build back better agenda and to to really rectify what is chronic underinvestment, both in infrastructure and in the, the social safety net in the United States going back decades. And so what do you think this might, after all the wheeling and dealing is done, let's assume this gets passed in, well, first off, do you think it will get passed, Tina? And assuming it does get passed in some form, what do you think it will really look like and where might the money go? I mean, we are a financial news network. We'll go to, you know, concrete companies, bridge builders. What are we looking at? Those details are are not available yet, so we can only speculate, but we know that the the U.S. has suffered from, you know, poor infrastructure for for many decades. Um, uh, Shovel-ready projects, infrastructure week, we've had the last, you know, two U.S. presidents talking about infrastructure. Um, The fact that this is going to be a combination of uh, social safety net and infrastructure probably helps it. You heard Jim Saki talking about splitting it into to two separate bills. But I think the point is that they can do this without Republican support if they need to. Um, but uh, when you look at the support for the, the first uh, fiscal stimulus package, it is bipartisan amongst the public. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.